All right, breaking news, people. Laura Mercier has extended her Caviar Eye collection. Now, if you aren't familiar with me or my channel, let me give you a quick debriefing. I use nothing but Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks in my videos, in my day-to-day -day life. So when I saw that there was gonna be an expansion on the Caviar line, uh, just uh, a little piece of me was taken back. So there were two separate launches in this little extension. The first is the Caviar Chrome Veils. So these are basically liquid versions of the Caviar Sticks. And these are really sheer, shimmery, glittery, duochrome. Home, uh, eye toppers is kind of what I would call these. I've already tested a couple out and they are in fact really sheer so you definitely would want to use these over the top of something bold or if you just want a sheer wash of glitter then that's what these are going to be like for you. And then I think there were six new caviar stick editions, so the actual sticks. And these are basically plays, off, most of these are plays off of the original shades, just a bumped up more intense version. So we have Intense Moonlight, which is obviously like a more intense version of the original Moonlight. There is Intense Amethyst, bumped up version of the original Amethyst. And then there's Metallic Taupe. I think Taupe originally was a matte color. And I also have Magnetic Pink, which seems to be just like a new shade in general. Like I don't remember uh, pink being a color in the original lineup. So um, yeah, just more intense, metallic, glittery versions than the original. Now I swatched several of these last night and they were very similar to the original formulas. So um, yeah, I just kind of want to play around with these in today's video. Um, really quickly, I want to swatch because I know I'll get um, questions. This is going to be like the most out of order video ever, but uh, I want to swatch the chrome veils for you guys really quick. So the first shade is called Opalescent. It's white with like a purple and blue duochrome to it. Then we have Night Sky, which is kind of like a black and green duochrome. Next up is Gilded Fresco. To me, this is like an identical version of Amethyst. It's kind of like that purpley taupe. And then we have Moonlight Shimmer, which is a play off of Moonlight. Uh, Rose Gold Metal, it's kind of more of just like a traditional like pearly beige tone. I don't really pick up on the rose gold in this color like it says. And then finally, uh, Crystal Rose, which is a nice glittery pink shade. So I've used uh, the Crystal Rose and the Rose Gold Metal already, very sheer colors. Um, I think I'm gonna actually use them again in this eye look. So I wanna do a bomb, like fun eye look using these. And I think I'm gonna do a pink eye look. So let's just prepare. Don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I have this hot pink eyeshadow in this Marc Jacobs eye palette. It actually, it's more like a violet. I wonder if I have something that's more true to pink. Well, this is like the closest I think I'm gonna get to a pink. I mean, it looks pretty pink to me. A little bit of purple in there. So uh, to start out with, I guess I'm just gonna take some bronzer maybe in my crease. I got my, uh, what is this? Charlotte Tilbury uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. And I'm just gonna pop that into uh, my crease as a quick little base. All right, on more of just a flat brush, I'm gonna pick up this pink shade. This Marc Jacobs palette is called the Provocateur palette. Uh, and I'm just gonna see how much I can build this up. I don't exactly have a pink base that I can use for this. So um, yeah, I've never used this color before. So don't exactly know how it's gonna look, but we'll see, we'll see. If it doesn't work out, then I just won't post it.
Cool, I think we've got enough to work with now. So I'm gonna take the Caviar uh, Chrome Veil. This one is Crystal Rose. And I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand. These aren't really buildable uh, liquid eyeshadows. They're kind of just like a one and done swipe type deal. I tried to build them up and they just kind of ended up looking a little a little cakey, a little clumpy on the eye. So these are definitely just something that you want like a quick sheer wash of. So I'm just gonna take my finger and we're just gonna sweep this over the lid. I'm also just gonna take a little bit of that on my lower lash line just to kind of bring the um, shimmer down there as well. And for my inner corner, I'm gonna take the actual caviar stick in magnetic pink. I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner. It's probably, yeah, it probably doesn't look like pink compared to, uh, you know, the magenta that's all over my eye right now. But if you just wore this by itself, um, I definitely think you can pick up on, it's like a ballet pink, but works very nice as just a bright inner corner highlight for this look. All right, so I wanted to show you what the eyes look like before I put on some lashes. Uh, this is just, as you can tell, a really sheer wash of just like this duochrome pink. So that is what the eye veils are like. Um, like I said, they aren't something that are completely opaque. They are meant to go over, uh, you know, something that you already laid down, whether that be like a darker cream shadow or a colorful powder shadow. They're just gonna help enhance, uh, you know, whatever is underneath. So gonna pop on some lashes and uh, finish this vid up. This is a fun look. I'm gonna finish off with an even funner lip gloss. This is a MAC 319 Spoil Yourself Grand Illusion Glossy. I don't know why I said it like that, but uh, that's the name of it. <laughs> You think my cheeks need something? I feel like my cheeks are a little bare. I have my Hourglass palette out because I found it in my stash and I haven't used it in a long time. So you know what? Let's mix the coral. Let's mix the little coral shade in here with the berry shade and pop a little bit of color on these cheeks. All right, very cool. Um, almost didn't film this because, you know, not my usual color palette, but I like it. And um, I'm, I'm just so thrilled. I can't wait to start using these in more videos. Obviously, I would have used more colors if I could, but you know, you just, the, these aren't really like mixing shades. You best believe that I will be incorporating the regular ones in a lot of my videos, if not like the next 20. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down below and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.